So, you might be wondering, Fusion, how exactly do I get in this little house? I mean, we're pretty big. Die, zombie. Die, and... Oh, no, don't hit me. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back into our house, which is right next to you. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video, and today, guys, as you can see, we're back in MCPE, and I do have an awesome mod to show you guys, which is basically the world's smallest house in Minecraft Pogdition. So can you guys see the house anywhere? Like, do you guys see anything around here that looks like a house? Nothing at all. But if we head over this direction, check this out. It's behind that tree and it is so tiny. So that's what we're going to be living in today. So if you guys want to try this mod out for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below and if you guys enjoyed today's video definitely go ahead and drop a like so you might be wondering fusion how exactly do i get in this little house i mean we're pretty big we are like two times the size of this maybe even triple i don't even know but um we do have like a window a little roof and also a door so to get inside your house your very very tiny house all you have to do is you know just tap on it and this is what it's going to look like so to get out of here you just want to tap on this red wall and we just, you know, go back here. So we're going to get some materials, do like a little bit of a survival. And, you know, just play around with this awesome mod. So let's just, um, kill this pig. Okay, <laughs> get the pig. Um, okay, I'm just completely missing. Where are you going, pig? Come back here. I'm not used to MCPE on the tablet. Usually I've just been recording on Windows 10. So it is, um, yeah, okay, this, this pig is actually annoying. It is hiding behind these leaves. This is annoying. Come on. Come on, pig. Die. <laughs> there we go. We got some food. And we also need like a chest and stuff that we can place in our house and even a bed So I need to find some sheep which might take a little bit of time and I might lose my house because it, Like the size of it is um, way too small. So it is very easy to lose your house All right, so I have a little bit of wood right here And uh, the thing is you might want to kind of check where you do actually place your house because you can lose it very very easily So let's go inside of it and uh, we're gonna do some crafting. So I'm actually on an older version of MCPE, so not 1.2. So let's just get this and uh, let's place like a crafting table in our house. So there we go, looking awesome. And we even have like a little lookout right there as well. And um, yeah, so a crafting table, uh, maybe like a chest as well, maybe two, looking pretty cool. There we go. And we do need a furnace in here as well. But before we do that, let's just get like a stick and um maybe okay we don't even have enough wood <laughs> i was gonna get a um a pickaxe but we don't have enough so we have to get some more wood all right here we go so our little house is right there okay i, I just don't want to lose it i really don't want to go too far away from my house because i know i'm definitely going to lose it and uh let's just get a few more pieces of wood just like that and i might go a little bit of mining so I can just get some stuff. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing in this video, but you guys can do like a little adventure, like role play or like a let's play on this with this awesome mod. So let's go ahead and uh, get more of this. And we have to go back in our house. And oh, it's starting to get nighttime already? What? Or is it morning? Wait, hold on. What? Is it, um, oh wait, no, it's going nighttime. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, so let's just get some pickaxe, and oh, I just got two, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, maybe a door? Do we really, okay, we don't really need a door, we're like up in the air, we're like, yeah, we just can't do that. Um, let's see, what else could we possibly get? Hmm, maybe a sword to protect ourselves. and also an axe to, you know, get some more wood. So, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, because it's night time now, so let's go down and is anything around here? Yeah, look out look how tiny it is like honestly Wow, that is cool. Okay, so I might have seen oh, okay. Is this a cave? Um, all I need is really just cobblestone to be honest uh, So we can just you know get the furnace So let's just quickly get this and hopefully no mobs come behind me and try and murder me because that just won't be nice And I might lose my house if I die because I have no idea where spawn is um, <laughs> so I think my house is that direction. Oh my goodness, am I starting to lose my house already? This is bad. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to lose my house, honestly. But here we go, this should be enough uh, cobblestone, surely. Um, yeah, that should be enough, so let's head back. Ooh, it's very spooky. Um, I do see uh, a zombie. Any creepers? Okay, this is scary. Okay, I'm just going to quickly run up here. Oh wait, what is that? Oh, like a little horse. Okay. But let's kill this. 
Die, zombie. Die, and... Oh, no, don't hit me. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back into our house, which is right next to this little tree. Uh, I mean, what we could possibly do is hide this. I don't know if, if that's a good idea, but let's just go in here and... Um, let's see. What was I going to do? Get a furnace. So here we go. Furnace, and I do need some torches. That is... Um, yeah, it, it's a little bit dark. Honestly... Um, I don't see anything besides like creepers, skeletons, spiders, and a little chicken. <laughs> but no sheep. I really need a bed. I need some wool so I can at least survive in my little tiny house. This mod is pretty cool. I really like it how it works. So, um, ooh, little spider there. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, spider. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Let's head this direction. Maybe I can find a sheep or some coal. Maybe some coal. I really need that for some torches at least. Come on. So it is now morning, except um, I'm actually getting a little bit hungry. Look at that. So I just need to actually put in a few things in here. So let's just get like the wood and then let's cook up some raw beef and make that into some cooked beef. So while that's um, happening, let's actually go down here and see if we can find any sheep. Oh, okay, there's a spider. Get rid of that first. It wasn't really, you know, harming us because it's morning, but... It, it, it just looked funny and I wanted to kill it. <laughs> so I need to at least get a bed. That's like the main goal and then that's pretty much it. I'm like set. So, um, oh, there's one. Sh oh, there's two. Okay. Well, that's good. Except I'm getting hungry. So hopefully that doesn't go down and I, I die. So here we go. So let's um, collect that. Let's sprint over this way. Maybe there's more of your buddies over this way. Uh, I don't really see any. Oh, actually, there is another one. Oh, this is good. This is good. All right, so let's kill this one. Hopefully, it drops. Good stuff. Okay. And, oh, my hunger's going down. This is not good. Quickly, let's sprint towards this. And, okay, I can't sprint anymore. But, I mean, we could actually just eat the raw mutton. But, um, I kind of want to have cooked food just because I don't want to waste the raw. Uh, so let's just walk back slowly because we can't sprint. And then we are going to hopefully make a bed. I don't think I even have enough wood. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Let's quickly do that. So where is my axe? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, wait, no. My axe is right there. There we go. Okay, so let's just get a few wood until we get up. I don't think we're going to die of hunger just yet. That was a little bit of lag. That was weird. But here we go. Let's collect some wood. And there we go. Okay, good stuff. Let's go in here. And, um... who Can I actually, like, just... By doing that, like, could I just accidentally, like, glitch through the block and just, like, fall to my death? <laughs> I don't know, but let's get this and... Oh, it only could just make one. Okay, so let's craft the bed. So... Oh, there we go. So the white bed. Awesome. And just place it right there. Okay, there we go. We now have a bed. We are set! We are now set. So that's pretty much, you know, what we can do. We can decorate the place. Uh, we can even make it even longer. So we can destroy this part of the house and, you know, extend it a little bit if we don't really want it this small. Because it is quite small, to be honest. So what we're going to do now is actually just go into creative and I'll show you guys how you can get the house and all that kind of stuff. So let's just go down here. All right, guys. So if you do want to get this house, just go into creative and uh, click on the iron sword, scroll down, and you should see... The little house right there. Now you can craft in survival, except the materials don't actually work. It requires like only one glass, I think, uh, two staircases, and an oak wood. I had all the materials, and it still said I didn't. So that was a little bit weird. But the way this works, basically, uh, when you you know put it onto the ground, if you look up, this is where we're basically spawning. So if I go like this, as you can see, I'm just gonna kind of break through my house. But um, it's basically just up in the air, right here. So I placed a few over here. And as you can see, I have my second house. And I think I might have a third somewhere. <laughs> but let me go ahead and just place them to the ground and just, you know, kind of show you guys. So place it just like that. And as you can see, it's just not even, it doesn't even exist. And the reason for that is because we actually have to go into our settings and change the render distance. I don't know why you have to do this, but for some reason it just doesn't show unless you do that. And for some odd reason, again, MCP just takes a while when doing this, but um, let's just go render distance just like that. And now if we look up, as you can see, it is now located in the air. So if I click on here, as you can see, we're not going to have our main stuff in this house because it's uh, in my little house over that direction. 
But this is a pretty cool mod. I mean, it would be better if maybe the house was underground so you don't actually see it. So that's how you can live in the world's tiniest house in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Definitely go ahead, check out the description below if you guys want to, you know, download this awesome mod. And uh, yeah, so it is only for Android. I do apologize if you really, really, really want to try this for iOS or Windows 10, but you can't really do mods on that because it does require block launcher. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely go ahead and drop a like, and uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.